The only kind of content on YouTube I hate more than prank channels would be family channels. I think that you almost certainly have to be a narcissist to even start one in the first place. And I've only really seen like a couple handfuls of instances where I think a family channel is actually wholesome and a good thing for the kids involved. But for the most part, like 90% of family channels come off as just very self-centered parents who are trying to exploit their own children for views and attention and money. And recently, one of my least favorite family family channels ever has completely fallen apart and it's looking like they're not really going to make a rebound from any of this. I'm talking about the Ace family, of course, which would be Catherine and Austin McBroom, who are now in the midst of a very public and messy divorce that a lot of people are claiming they believe is staged, which I wouldn't blame people for thinking that. These two people have outright scammed their audience on multiple occasions. They've been very manipulative in the past and they've manufactured drama for the sake of their own relevance a number of times. Although I truly believe in this instance, both can be true. I think they are absolutely definitely in the middle of a real divorce right now. And Austin in particular is just going out of his way to milk it for all it's worth because he knows this is the last hurrah. Austin is a 13 year old trapped in a 30 something year old's body. And it doesn't surprise me at all that he's going to get every last bit of money and attention he can from this before he knows that he's headed towards irrelevancy. The reason I think this is actually legitimate somewhat is because Austin has been a shithead for years now. And I'm honestly shocked. Catherine has stayed with him this long. I mean, I'm not one for particularly like breaking up a family and all that sort of stuff because they do have kids, which I feel for. But this man has been pushing the limits with his relationship for years now, like I said. I mean, there's tons of cheating rumors about that have been circling him for years at this point, which I'm inclined to believe. But not just that, Austin is mostly responsible for all of the shit that they end up getting into and he's always been the one between the two of them really pushing the envelope and i don't think very highly of Catherine either i think she could be just as manipulative and self-centered when given the opportunity as he can but i've always thought that she could do a bajillion times better than an immature douche like austin this whole time so i mean like i was just saying like i'm not totally surprised by this anyways though if you're not already familiar with the ace family you can feel free to look up some videos other commentary youtubers have made about them in the past because the list is extensive. They've been sort of a laughing stock for the commentary community for about half a decade at this point. They're kind of like commentary lol cows, but with a little more self-respect to them. But at the time of recording this, it's been about eight months since they've uploaded anything at all. And it's been unusually quiet, the drama surrounding them, because they've almost always had some sort of drama following them. So I did have a feeling that this was coming. And a few weeks ago, they did sort of announce this divorce or it became public somehow. And in that time, Time frame, Austin has moved into an RV outside of Catherine's house. He recorded and dropped a love song for Catherine and subjected himself to a lie detector test. And overall, he's kind of been spiraling and just documenting all of this for us on his Snapchat. All of this has been taking place on Snapchat, by the way. He's really leaned into the whole divorced dad archetype. And this is mostly what I'm referring to when I say that he's been using this situation to pad his pockets. And this is why people think it's fake, because this has been their MO for a while now. They've always gone way out of their way to perpetuate some sort of drama for the sake of views and money. But as we take a closer look at these embarrassing moments Austin keeps subjecting himself to, I think you'll start to realize with me that th this divorce is real. Austin is just reacting in the only way he knows how to. Pardon me for a sec though, I'm about to go watch the Super Bowl with my friends. God fucking damn it, Patrick Mahomes. I had my money on the Niners. Don't get me wrong. I like Patrick Mahomes, okay? He's great at what he does. He's a class act, very mature guy, but fucking stay away from Tom Brady's records, okay? Sorry about that interlude. This video is taking me way longer to make than it ever should, but let's take a look at Austin's shitty song. Oh, man. This is tough for me. I don't understand, man. This is tough for me. I'm still healing, but, uh... I want to make a song. I just don't know how to put it into words. And Didi, I need your help, man. I wrote something. And I need you to freestyle it for me. I miss you. I love you. He doesn't even fucking sing it. I mean, what's the point? What's the point here? What are you trying to do? And this is what I mean by he's just milking the situation. I mean, this is a stupid idea all around, but it gets clicks, you know? It gets attention. I've been in this RV. No heat, 
Together for eight years We don't even speak You know that I miss you I've been watching you right through the tree I've been missing the kids lately I've been living alone The RV that I got nice But sometimes I just want to be home mm, Yeah, bass drop I don't know if I can handle you dating It's been a month, I don't know if I make it Yeah, if you want to see the rest of that for some reason uh, you know, you could go look it up. You pretty much get the idea. Uh, he pretty much just at the end of it starts clutching a pillow that says home and then walks off camera all saddy looking, you know. What's so cringe about this is from what I've seen, he actually does want to get back together with Catherine. And this is just an awful way to go about it. I mean, writing a song and performing it in the first place is cringe, but posting it online for the sake of drumming up drama is just making a mockery of your marriage in the first place. Come on. Let's be honest here. You're just turning this whole divorce into a spectacle. I don't know what makes him think that this is going to make her remember the good times. And as you saw during that assault on our ears, he's recording it from his RV that is in fact parked right outside or across the street from Catherine's house. Come on in, guys. Watch your step. It's my living room. I just got, you know, try to get a few accessories to make it feel like home. My dining room table basically fits all of my kids, so it's perfect. Uh, just got this TV in. I used, as you can see, like, this is brand new. Like, tape is on here. Like, commercial. Like, brand new, guys. Like, everything's brand new. Yeah, shit's totally dripped out. You go, Austin. Over here is my kitchen. It's kind of a big kitchen for, you know, a motorhome. Got the stove here. Got the microwave. The mattress will fit. Cozy. These are like the most like expensive seats that you can have in a motorhome. Um, they're the ones that recline all the way into a bed. Yeah, you get the point. It's just an RV. And a lot of people have been saying that they're not buying the fact that he actually lives in there. He definitely hasn't decorated it very much or uh, has anything set up that looks like it would be for the long term. Although at the same time, that is kind of just how men tend to decorate. Either way, real or not, it's just kind of pathetic that he has to stoop this low at this point to maintain any sort of relevancy. And that's kind of my whole point with Austin throughout this video is that I really do think he's kind of done with content creation in general. I don't really see a future for him at this point making anything that's entertaining because milking his whole family situation was what got him popular in the first place. And now that he can't do that, he, he hasn't displayed any sort of skills or like entertainment value doing anything else other than using his children for clicks. So I, I just don't see how he's going to make anything happen for himself without having his family anymore around. At this rate, he's going to be guzzling glizzies on TikTok live streams like Jason Nash has been doing. Probably stick with that and Snapchat for a few years until all of the viewers dwindle out. And I just don't see him ever capturing even a fraction of the popularity he used to have anymore. And don't get me wrong, they've made a lot of money over the years on YouTube. But part of another reason why I think this RV is actually where he's living is because they have been known to make very poor financial decisions. At one point, they were renting a house for an absurd price every month, and they tried to present it to their audience as if they bought it outright, when in reality, people were able to look up and realize that they were renting it. So like, as much as he has found success on YouTube, I really don't think he's saved the majority of it. I'm sure he's still well off enough, but I doubt that he was able to actually afford a house in the same neighborhood as his family, which is why he's going with this. And to his credit, like, if it is true that he just wants to stay closer to his kids, I do give him respect there because, I mean, there's plenty of deadbeat dads out there. I don't see a reason why he might end up like that. I mean, he seems to actually care about his kids when he's not exploiting them. There's definitely been much more abusive family channels out there as well, that's for sure. I know Eight Passengers is in the middle of a huge lawsuit that people have been talking about for years now. But apart from obviously being publicity stunts, uh, that's the main reasons that I think he actually is living in this RV. It probably is a financial decision, but people still are doubting it, and a lot of people even doubting that this divorce is real in the first place. So because of all that, as another publicity stunt, Austin hired a lie detector guy to come over and audit him, I guess. Did you move across the street from your ex-wife? Yes. True. Are you living in an RV? Yes. True. Are you still in love with Catherine? 
No. Why? Are you sure the last one's a lie? It was the biggest reaction you had on the whole test. Your body said a different answer than what your mouth did. If you were applying for a government job and that was your reaction on a key question, you would not be hireable. I'm gonna be honest, I think your system doesn't work anymore. Is it real and is this stage two? I don't know. I mean, he did post this on his own. This wasn't live as far as I understand. So that probably does lean towards it being staged just because why would he post it like that? But then again, it is also very plausible he's in denial about still being in love with her. She left him and it's only been a month, so not the most unreasonable assumption. Meanwhile, Catherine has really just been minding her own business. She's kept very quiet and hasn't been turning any of this into a spectacle at all. She seems to just like, she wants to be left alone. And a lot of people were asking her what the deal is, if this is all legitimate or if anything Austin is doing is real. And she responded kind of laughing at everything Austin was up to. She said the divorce is real and didn't really comment much further on that. So again, that leads me to believe this is actually legitimate because Catherine seems just kind of done and fed up with everything. And this is probably the best thing that could have ever happened to her kids. And normally I wouldn't say that in a divorce, especially, but it seems like their channel is kind of done with, at least the whole like family channel aspect to it. Unless Catherine decides to make those videos on her own, it doesn't seem like they're gonna be back to documenting everything about their children's lives, which is a good thing in the long run. It kind of makes me sick to my stomach to think that there's a lot of family channels out there who are gonna publicize their kids growing up as teenagers and then young adults and all the drama that they get themselves into. Like, could you imagine if every single milestone in your life, your parents wanted to record you doing it so that they could farm it or maybe drum up some like fake controversy and just milk you dry your whole like childhood. I can't imagine the embarrassment from growing up in a family like that. So assuming that the channel is gonna come to an end is a good thing for the kids. But like I said, career-wise, I don't see Austin ever really being able to come back from this. And that means that YouTube finally has one less douchebag on the platform.